Hello everyone, this is Destiny out here at County Line Campers in Gulfport, Mississippi. My husband and I are the operating partners out here bringing you the best uh, priced RVs on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Today we are checking out Freedom Express. This here is a Coachman product. We're looking at the 226 RBS. So for the month of August and September, we are featuring the perfect tailgating campers. That's right, football season is here. So what better way to spend the weekend than out tailgating with friends and family? So what makes something special and unique for tailgating is an outdoor kitchen or bunk houses. Cause you know, you're gonna be bringing people with you so they need places to sleep or you're gonna be grilling and cooking outside so this one here is featuring an awesome outdoor kitchen let's get into the details and i'll tell you everything this unit has to offer so starting right here at the front this window is the same type of glass that they use for your windshields it's got a special dark uv tent you cannot see through it and you don't have to worry about it getting beat up as you are towing it down the road it's going to be a strong durable windshield we also have a great led lighting it looks real cool at night with that lit up down here we've got our diamond plate which helps Helps rocks slinging um, up and ditting up the cap. You don't have to worry about it. You got the protection since it's right here on the front. Your spare tire is mounted right here underneath the tongue. You will get your battery that comes with it. Of course, if you purchase from us, we're also going to fill up both LP tanks. You've got two large ones on this unit. We have a power tongue jack controlled right here as well as a little docking light so you can see what you're doing at nighttime. So moving along to the side, we've got some great pass-through storage. You can see our power cord right there. And we've got some goodies on the other side, which I will get into over that way. Right here's our potable drinking water. So you can um, fill that up when you are dry camping. The drain for it is going to be right below that. Here's a look at our slide. I'm going to put the overall weight and length at the beginning of this video so you can see exactly what you're working with. We are in a double axle and look at that large spacing between the tires. That's just going to give you more control and stability as you're towing down the road. Right here is the exhaust for the hot water heater, 30 amp power, city water connection, black tank flush, satellite and cable hookups, and an outdoor shower with hot and cold water. You will be able to get both. Right down here, you've got your black and gray tank flush for your sewer hoses. Moving along to the back side, you are prepped for a backup camera. Should you like to add one, it's got a spot for it right there. It's already routed. You just got to go ahead and buy the camera and then have the technician install it. Right here is your bumper. If you didn't know, you can slide your sewer hoses right here by removing those caps. This RV is prepped for a two-inch accessory, two accessory receiver. So if you wanted to be able to add something right back there, you are able to do so. You also have your ladder already mounted to the back of the camper. You got that walkable roof up there. Get up there, check your seams, make sure all is well. You already got your ladder on there. Moving over to the outdoor kitchen area, you've got like a little roof. So if it is sprinkling or raining, you can cook under here just fine. Then you've got that great awning extended out, giving you more outdoor space. Here we've got some storage, mini fridge, great spot to store all the spices, your sink, and we've got some more storage right down here for the utensils and your drawer. Now you will find the LP quick connect right underneath here. And what you're gonna have is a grill, which is up in the front cubby, that is going to slide right here as well as another table. So that's right, you've got a table extender and the grill itself slides onto this bracket and then you just connect it through the LP line right below that's gonna draw straight from the LP table tanks that you've got with you. We also have power stabilizer jacks right here. You can have a button on the front and the back to control each one. Moving over to our entertainment area, we've got some great outdoor speakers, awesome LED light underneath that awning. Here's a spot you can plug up the television outlets and the cable hookup. Don't forget about that bottle opener and leash holder. <laughs> That's right. Bring the dog out here with you and sip on your drink all in one spot right there. We've got this extra large grab handle, which is going to go up and over for towing and then up and out, making it easier to get up and down these uh, aluminum steps. If you look here, the top step's a little bit larger. They do that so you can stash your tennis shoes, sandals, whatever. Keep them right there on the top step so you don't have to cart them in through the camper. These are just going to lift up and fold into the door so you can close the door with your steps safely inside. No concern about your steps getting loose during towing. They're going to be inside and uh, stay safe for you. 
Right here's the button for the other power jack to be able to put it down. And the other side of our pass-through storage, we've got these little clippies right here. So you're just gonna be able to lock it right into place, push it up when it's time to release. Here is that little table that does mount to the bracket. And right here's your grill. All this is already coming with the unit, so it is all yours. And that is a look at the exterior. Let's get inside and look at how beautiful this is. Also here, you've got a friction hinge. So this door is gonna stay in place wherever you put it. There's no clippy or bracket on the back that you have to worry about breaking off. This is going to stay right in place. And then of course, you've got your detachable screen door. So as we come in, I like to do a quick overview so you can get a look at the floor plan. We've got a Murphy bed, entertainment, a little kitchen island with the extender, and then the bathroom right back here, which has loads of storage that I'm about to get into. So let's check her out. So as we walk in, we've got our control panels right up here, all the lights, your awning, your slide in and out, and then your ability to check your levels for your tanks and your battery right there. We've got this great large countertop. I love the L shape. It really utilizes all uh, every corner, and they also give you this glass top over the three burner gas stove. So that way it gives you more countertop space, but also provides a na nice backsplash when it is time to cook. I love these little hidden uh, ports right here. We've got outlets and then USB charger and a lightning quick connect right there. Great LED lighting right underneath the cabinets. You do have covers that will go right here in your sink, providing even more um, space for your countertops. Now this unit is going to come with the TST system. This is going to go up in the truck with you as you're towing and it's going to be able to monitor the tire levels, make sure your PSI's um, good, make sure you haven't ran over anything. It's gonna alert you if you have a quick leak or anything like that. We've got the American Stonecast Sink, super durable, household name. We've got this extender right here, giving you even more countertop space. I love the black matte finishes. This just makes it feel really residential as well as these nice glass inserts and the hardware. We've got more storage accessible on this side. There is those covers that go inside your sink, again, providing extra countertop space. I also love that all these windows open. Not only do they have the dark UV tent on them, but they also have screens. So in the event you're cooking something and it's not going great, you've got a big window right here in the kitchen to be able to air it out. We've got our drawers and another outlet right here. Our Magic Chef gas stove, gas top, and then we've got our high point microwave right here, as well as our overhead vent fan. We've got a good size refrigerator, perfect for stashing all the tailgating items you may need. We have our breaker panel right down there, the CO2 sensor right over here, and then you've got the ability to control your heat and AC all right here, digital. It's going to be able to cool this little camper off, no problem. Moving over to the entertainment section, I love the details like the LED lighting coming through the top storage. We've got our Insigna TV coming with the unit and our Bluetooth equipped stereo system. You're going to be able to control the stereo from inside or outside depending on what zone you select. We've got some little cubbies here, another outlet, USB chargers, and some more storage right under here. Moving over to our U-shaped dinette. The table is in the down position, so that way you can easily spread out the cushions. This is giving you an example of how to utilize it as a sleeping booth. So if you've got some party crashers after a long day of tailgating, no worries. Somebody could easily curl up right there, a couple kiddos and maybe one adult. I love the little LED lighting they have underneath the kick toes right here and loads of storage underneath. I also really like that the vinyl flooring is carried into the slide. A lot of times you'll see manufacturers stick carpet right there. Not in this Freedom Express. You've got the vinyl flooring carrying into the slide as well. So it's very easy to keep clean. Again, those nice large windows all with their own screen. So you can get the windows open on a nice cool day. I love the little residential feel with the little chandelier and this soft wood detail around the trim box. Here is a look at what that sleeping booth looks like. Just throw on your blankets and add your pillows. And we've got our accordion nightshade so you can black out the unit. Perfect cozy sleeping spot. And look how large that is. 
Moving into our bathroom area, we see our vanity and sink right here. Little medicine cabinet, we've got our outlets. A very spacious corner shower. I love the little built-in cubbies. Moving over here, they give you the perfect spot to hang the hand towels, put some washcloths, and you do have a window right in here as well as the exhaust fan. But check this out. So much storage and they've got this built-in hanger rack all the way through. Perfect and I think a lot, a lot better than the bar. Your, your items are going to stay right in place, no problem. And moving over to our living room slash entertainment area. We have this jackknife sofa, but look at this. We've got USB chargers in our cup holders. Really cool LED lighting in those as well. This can fold up, enjoy your sofa, or very easy with one lift, we can put it right down into the jackknife sofa. Again, another little sleeping space. If you just wanna crash without putting the whole bed down, you are able to just turn it into a jackknife. We've got outlets on both sides as well as USB chargers right over here, giving you a perfect spot to charge up the phone. We've got wardrobe all overhead right here again with those built-in racks and a fully extending drawer no digging way in the back on a half opening drawer it is going to fully extend for you and look how easy this is we are going to drop this frame and put down the mattress for a great sleeping space and they do give you this sheet, but your mattress is also plastic protected until you buy. You do have the accordion shade that goes over the whole front, so you can black it out nice and easy. They also give you these little LED push lights for reading. They're going to go to blue and then as a normal LED light. I also love the little shelf they've got here. You can add some little homey touches, maybe some cute pictures of the family. And you're also going to have the same wardrobe over here on this side. You've got a lot of added features in this one. We've got the wine guard gateway, so you are prepped. That's gonna basically turn your whole camper into its own Wi-Fi hotspot with whatever provider you are with. You don't have to worry about fighting for internet and service out at the campgrounds. And that's also good if you're out in the middle of nowhere doing some boondocking or maybe just tailgating out in the boonies. You will always be safe and guarded from making sure you don't lose that TV signal. The Freedom Express is also made with Asdale. Your walls are going to be super insulated. That's thermo, thermal insulated, super sound absorbent, 50% lighter than wood, keeping our towing weight light down. And it's also resistant to mildew, rotting, or warping, unaffected to the different changes in humidity and temperature. And it's all made in the USA. Asdale is something we're seeing a lot more manufacturers go to. So this Freedom Express uh, retails just under fifty thousand dollars but check out what we have ours listed for that's right this is a new floor plan we are carrying i love that larger outdoor kitchen space it's a perfect couples coach but if you need to stash some of the grandbabies or some friends you do have a perfect spot to do it right in this large u-shaped booth y'all coming out to county line campers we have plenty models to choose from even if you're not looking for a tailgating camper we've got diesel motor homes gas motor homes teeny tiny travel trailers all the way up to massive fifth wheels when you think camping thank county line campers